take a look at Laramie Tunsil, the left tackle of the Texans. Had a great day on Sunday. Deshaun Watson dropped back 42 times. He wasn't sacked, barely touched. But let's just watch Tunsil from the beginning. The set, the hands. Watson needs a long time for Will Fuller to get down the field in this play. How long? Tunsil's going to give him as long as he needs right here. Ogba can't get off him. Watson throws a strike to Will Fuller. Will Fuller knows he needs to catch that ball. They dropped a bunch of them in the end zone. But in the run game, he plays the whole game in a two-point stance, just like he did at Ole Miss. He's got Frank Clark coming inside on him right here. He's going to take Frank Clark right where he wants to go and seal him inside. And Carlos Hyde, who had a renaissance on Sunday running the ball, runs for his first touchdown of the day. And Tunsil makes it look too easy. But watch these sets. These sets are just consistent. Watch the hands, the hand-to-hand combat here on Ogba. And watch the feet just move. Move and shuffle and slide and stay between Ogba and the quarterback the whole time. It doesn't matter. For as long as he needs to. He doesn't get overextended. Doesn't lean. Deshaun Watson doesn't get hit. He'll take the scramble here and take eight yards to get down and protect himself. Two-point stance. Frank Clark outside. Watch the set. Feet never cross. Low base. Bending at the knees. What's going on? The hand-to-hand combat right here. The feet marry the hands. A lot of guys don't know how to do that. Doesn't hold. Doesn't bring the hands outside on him in the run game right here. This left side right now, Max Sharping, the rookie out of Northern Illinois. Tunstall, the tight end, Darren Fells. And here comes Fulton pulling around. That's a good looking play right here. Jordan Aikens blocking. There's a hole and a crease right there. Just creasing the, the Chiefs, led by Tunstall. But a whole lot of good blocking up front all day long against the Chiefs. This ball is a throw to Jordan Akins, the young tight end. Kind of promising. Right here, Passino wants to come inside. But right here, Tunsil doesn't, he doesn't panic when he goes inside. All he does is shuffle, slide. Shuffle, slide, push. Eventually, he's going to square up with them. Now he's squared up. Now, look at Watson. I mean, there's nobody around Deshaun Watson. I know it's just a three-man rush, but here it is. Look, Watson has time like Babe Ruth to point to do this. The feet, just watch Deshaun Watson right here. The feet don't have to move. Every quarterback would love to be able to find their tight end with that kind of time. All different types of sets. So Passino grabs his right wrist. That's all right. All he does is redirect it. Just push him right by the quarterback here. I mean, it's just great job. I mean, all day long, Sharpie comes over, gives him a little push. Then if you go back to week five against the Falcons, when Deshaun Watson threw five touchdown passes, this is play action off power up. So Tunsil's going to pull. But watch what he does. He recognizes it's play action. He slides all the way over to the other side to take a hit. Vic Beasley, take a hit off of Deshaun Watson. Like, there's not many, maybe five, maybe five left tackles in all of football that could do this. Cover the ground like this, shuffle slide, and take the hit. And hit Vic Beasley and take the shot off of Deshaun Watson. And on the final touchdown throw of the game, the one that put the nail in the coffin against the Falcons. Let's watch Laramie Tunsil here. Because Tack McKinley, 98, is going to drop. It's just a three-man rush. But Grady Jarrett is a dangerous pass rusher. So Tunsil, once he recognizes the drop, he's going to go help. Here comes Grady Jarrett. Down goes Grady Jarrett. I've watched Laramie Tunsil play two games in a row, and I haven't seen him on the ground yet. That might be the closest I've seen him to being on the ground. He stays on his feet. He's a dancing bear. He understands the game. And Deshaun Watson is putting together a streak of games where he might be the most improved player in the league. Making throws like that to Will Fuller. Putting the ball exactly where it needs to be put for a throw, touchdown, and a catch that was game, set, match against the Falcons. Laramie Tunsil has a big part of the Texas success.